Okay, we <laughs> are the Salamander group of EPFL, a bio-robotics lab, and we're working in Salamander robots. As you can see, the robot is right there behind. It's called Blue Robot. And, um, well, the purpose of this demo is to show that the robot can execute some um, reflexes, behaviors. One, when, once the robot is stuck, in, for example, in an obstacle, or it found that, like a hole, it will just change the gate pattern in order to overcome that obstacle. Well, what, what is unique is that it's a salamander robot, so we can combine multimodal locomotion of salamanders. For example, we can swim, we can walk, and we can do also something between swim and walk, which is called aquatic stepping. That means that somehow we're floating in the, in the water, but we still have to, uh, contact with the ground. So we can also, in this case, we can, we can I don't know, try to put this uh, kind of robot in a rescue scenario with these shallow waters, for example, and we can, uh, yeah, uh, access to many places. Well, the biggest challenge mainly is the waterproofing, yeah, because not every robot is, is, is prone to, to, I mean, the design of the robot is not really easy to, get, to make it waterproof. It. But, uh, for example, we have this suit in this case. Basically, it's a diving suit, so we can just put the robot inside and close it and it's waterproof. But of course, for a real scenario, this, this is very good for lab purposes, but for a real scenario, we need a more sturdy robot. So the construction of and the design of a new robot should be more uh, intended to be really waterproofing in the design.